Hi everyone, it's Vela from Online Combat Battalion with another Armor 3 Editor tutorial for you. This one relates specifically to a module within the SOG Prairie Fire DLC. And as I've said before, if you are an Armor 3 player and you don't have the SOG Prairie Fire DLC, you need to get it now because it is the best thing that has ever been produced for Armor 3. Now, if you've always wanted the ability to spawn in enemy and then define exactly what they do, and how they behave when they spawn in, for example, waves of enemy or enemy patrolling a particular area, and then having the ability for them to continually spawn to a limited number, then keep watching because this module shows you how to do it. Firstly, I'm going to place, uh, after placing a playable unit, I'm going to place some uh, enemy squads. So I'm going to place a rifle squad here, and I'm going to place another rifle squad over here. And let me place another rifle squad over here. Now I'm going to go into this rifle squad and I'm going to set the behavior to safe. I'm going to set their speed mode to limited. With this group over here, I'm going to set them to aware and I'm going to have them running full speed. And with these guys over here, I'm going to drag them forward a little bit. I'm going to set them to careless and limited. Now I'm going to give them all waypoints. So for this group here, I'm going to click on the group leader and give him a waypoint to move to this area here. These guys, I'm going to have a waypoint set for them to move to this sandbag wall and these guys I'm going to have them set to move over to this road and these are the ones that are careless and they don't really care what's going on. Now what I'm going to grab is in systems in the SOG Creator DLC mission modules I'm going to grab a respawning garrison and I'm going to place that down. Now what I'm going to do is highlight these groups of AI. Right click, connect and sync to the module. I'm going to do that with all of these groups. And all these groups are now... Whoops. Sync to the module. Okay, so those three enemy groups are now synced to the module. Now, I'm going to open up the module and put in their respawn tickets. It's a default of 30. I'm probably going to leave it at 30, I would say, for this demonstration. So what that does is it spawns in the enemy AI groups or the AI groups that you choose to use. Now, when you start taking them out, it will respawn them in these positions and get them moving on their waypoints again up to a limit of 30. So for example, if in the initial attack I take out 15 of them, it will spawn in another 15. And you don't have to have wiped them all out for that spawn to occur. Now I don't want this to happen as soon as the mission starts. So I'm going to place down a trigger I'll make it a 10 by 10 trigger and I'll place it here. I'll double left click and make the activation type as any player present. Now I'm going to right click, connect sync to the module. Okay, so what will happen is that these AI will be there, but they will be hidden by the module until this trigger is activated. And I'll show you how that works. Okay, just having a look in Zeus, and you'll notice that the area that I placed an AI squad in, they are not visible. There was another squad placed here, and another squad placed over there. None of them have yet spawned in. So now I'm going to run forward into the trigger that I placed and synced to the respawning garrison module. And you'll notice that the AI has now spawned in. They have the combat mode or behavior that I set for them 
on the unit attributes and they will also follow the waypoints that I have set for them. Likewise, we have this group here in the middle that is now patrolling into the location. And these guys are set to full speed mode and they are now also running into the position I set for them to move to. So this enables you to have these sp guys spawn in with the combat behavior that you have defined in their attributes, the speed that you've defined and exactly where you have put the waypoint for them to move. So here's the guys that have spawned in after the module has been triggered by a trigger. Triggered by a trigger, yeah, that's good. So there's my guys that are careless. They don't care what's going on. They're going to move to the waypoint that I've set for them over there. Then we have these guys who are moving in as well and those guys over there. Now, what I'm going to do to demonstrate how this works is I'm going to take a few of these guys out. Um, I'm going to use the HE17. Okay, so then I'm going to take a few more of these guys out. And what you'll notice is that more of them have just spawned in to replace the ones that I've taken out. But only a maximum of 30 replacements will be added because that is what I've specified in the retweet spawn ticket section of the module. Okay, so I'll take some more of these guys out. And more will spawn in to replace them, but only up to a maximum of 30. And there we go. We've got these guys have just come in to replace those I've knocked over. And because they're now in contact, their uh, combat mode and behavior and speed has changed because they're being engaged. So this is an excellent way to have uh, repeated uh, enemy waves coming at you um, that you can define and only up to a maximum number. You could set the respawn ticket number to 200 if you wanted to and it will continue to respawn them until all of those 200 respawn tickets have been used up now I've uh, because I set it to 30 and I've just taken out most of them except for a few you'll notice that there's no further units spawning in because they have used up all of their respawn tickets so if you wanted a scenario where you're getting wave attacks uh, on a location and you only wanted a certain number, this is the best way to do it. This uh, module is fantastic. So, so good. You can use more than one module. So if I wanted some blue four troops to spawn in to assist me with my defense of this position, I'm just gonna grab some, uh, let's grab an infantry section and I'm gonna move them around a little bit Okay, I'm going to set their behavior to normal. And I'm going to sync all of these guys to the module. And the 30 respawn tickets will also apply to any blue four that you spawn in. And you can sync that to the same module. Or you can place a separate respawning garrison module. So... I'll take out the sync of these guys to the center module that I have and place a new respawning garrison module here. Uh, I'll set the respawn tickets to 50 because I want some reinforcements. I'll sync all of these guys, connect and sync to that module there. And again, I will have the module activated when this trigger is activated. So again, these guys will be hidden until this 
trigger is activated and I'm going to give these guys a waypoint to move to this location and once they are there I want them to seek and destroy. So this is where my blue four units are but as you can see they're not actually visible. All right, nothing's happening in that regard. Same as happened with the op four units here. Nothing's happening. They're not moving. They're not visible. Now that I've moved into the trigger, I've had my blue four infantry spawn in on a separate respawn garrison module, or you can use the same one that you use for the op four troops. It doesn't matter. And these guys will move to this location and they will search and destroy and of course now there's a major battle ensuing with the op4 moving in and the blue4 defending um, i've already done a module on or a video on the onslaught module uh, this one's you can do the same thing with it but this one has much more flexibility for the mission maker because you can decide when this module activates and you can limit the number of reinforcements that come in once the module has activated and troops are taken out. Module is very good, very simple to use and provides the mission makers with a lot of flexibility. Uh, this uh, does not work for it, however, for vehicles. Okay, so the respawn module won't respawn vehicles. It'll only respawn infantry. If you place a vehicle with crew in it, it may respawn the crew, but it will not respawn the vehicle. Um, I hope that uh, this has been great information for those who have the SOG Prairie Fire DLC who are wanting to have a little more flexibility with regards to maybe wave attacks um, all those sorts of things. If you have any questions, hit us up in the comment section below. Come visit us on our Discord. As always, thank you for your support, and I'll see you in the next video.